1967. The campaign of North Vietnamese General Judd is going badly. The Americans are applying the pressure on a dozen battlefields. His troops are taking mounting casualties and suffering from a loss of morale. He desperately needs a major victory. But the target he selects hands him one of the costliest defeats of the war and gives the Allies spectacular confirmation that a ground battle can be won by air power. Quezon, an Allied base manned by U.S. Marines and one battalion of South Vietnamese Rangers. Cornerstone of the defense line where the demilitarized zone and the Laotian border meet. The mountains surrounding Quezon overlook the Ho Chi Minh Trail. To Chiap and to some Western observers, Quezon's similarity to Dien Bien Phu make it a lucrative target one that might bring a victory as decisive as the one that forced the French withdrawal a decade before. Into the area, Jop moves two full divisions, more than 20,000 men, and positions them to surround the 6,000 defenders. A third division is moved toward the Marine base at Camp Carroll. Commander for Air, General William Momeyer, operational control of all air elements. 